All right, friends, here's part two of my uh, road to my top 50 books. And um, I don't talk all that much about what books are worth, um, but we can certainly have conversations in the, in the comments. I mean, all that I'll ever do is look stuff up on eBay. I'll compare that to the price guide and see what things have sold for. I'll also go on Facebook. There's groups on Facebook, and I might um, see what people on there are asking for books, but that's how I figure out what books are worth. Um, to me, it doesn't really matter because unless I'm buying a book, I kind of want to have a have an idea of what what it's worth so I'm not overpaying for something. And if I can get something cheaper, I'll definitely use that um, in negotiations for the book. But um, I don't really sell books, so uh, it doesn't really matter to me uh, what a book's worth But uh, unless I'm buying. So these I already own now, so it doesn't necessarily really mean anything um, what they're worth, but this is my second uh, second part in the road to my top 50. So if you know my first in part one, I talked about how I feel bad about leaving these books out, so I'm going to make honorable mention videos. So here they are: um, New Mutants Annual Number Two, first appearance of Psylocke in the U.S. So she was in a couple Captain Britain books um, before that. So there's that. This is an awesome book too, um, and I will show you what I got for this book. New Gods number seven. I got this during, you know, just recently, so the hype is on, and I was able to pay 10 bucks for it. Um, first Steppenwolf. So be on the lookout for this book if you can find it. Um, it's getting pretty hot because he will be the villain in uh, the next couple DC movies, probably the Justice League, something like that. So I have a few of copies of this, Omega Men number three. Uh, you should be able to pick up this book pretty cheap and, and probably be able to stealth buy it. Um, first appearance of Lobo. But if you can, uh, try to find it for pretty cheap. I wouldn't pay more than 15 bucks for it at any time. So, because I've gotten cheap uh, copies of this for a dollar. This one's kind of beat up, but it was in a shop in Pittsburgh, an antique shop, and it's Shazam 28, um, the first modern appearance of Black Adam. So that is a really cool appearance there. There's lots of spine ticks here, um, but it's fine. I think I got it for a buck or two. Silver Surfer. Number 44, this is the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. So this book will, it has already probably reached the, the height of, of what the value is, um, but you can still, you still might be able to stealth buy that. I've shown this in a, another video, JSA Classified, number one. Um, this is the one that I paid forty dollars for. Don't know why I did that, but um, I couldn't find that book anywhere. Um, this is Power Man and Iron Fist number 50. This is their first official title switch and the first uh, um, official team up. I know they, they teamed up in in this in uh, Power Man's title, maybe starting at number 48, but uh, this is a awesome 50th issue of that here is Stars and Stripes, Stars and Stripe number zero, the first appearance of Stargirl. And this was a character that Jeff Johns created. And during this time, man, Jeff Johns was, he ruled DC, which he kind of still does, and he worked his way up pretty well. All right, this is X Factor number five, first cameo of Apocalypse. There's that. Very nice condition. You should be able to pick up that book for uh, 10, 15, 20 bucks maybe. This is a neat book. I got this book for 50 cents at a shop. And if you know what that is, it's Harbinger number zero from 1992. It's the pink copy of this. And as you guys know, this is the mail away 
I think you had to order the first six, six or seven books. Um, and then you were eligible to get this. So I'm sure it's probably pretty scarce. I think that book is pretty decent. Um, I've shown this before in a haul video. That was my other copy that I showed. This is uh, Superman Adventures number five, the first appearance of Livewire. New 52, Suicide Squad number one. And this is the definitely the cover to have. This is the first printing of that. Man of Steel 18, first full appearance of Doomsday. And these are both um, first printing. Now I know the deal is you want the fifth print because there was a low print run. Um, to me that doesn't, it makes sense, I understand why, but to me I'd rather have a first print of anything um, and the reason why it was low print run was because, I mean people had already bought several copies at that point. So anyways, but it, it is the one to, I'll admit it is the one to grab. Tales of Suspense 51, the first Scarecrow. And anything old, any of these old Tales of Suspense, uh, you'll definitely want to grab. Suicide Squad number one from 1987. Star Wars 42, the first appearance of Boba Fett in comic books. So this is a really good book. I say, what number did I say? If I said anything other than 42, I was wrong. Sorry. Star Wars 42. Two copies of Marvel Spotlight. 32. First appearance of Spider-Woman. And you can see this copy isn't as nice. There's some issues going on in the corners, but this one is very nice. For She-Hulk, you guys know I... Um, got that one for $15. First and only copy of that book. Oh, you know I've got this book for $0.10. Cents. This is Conan the Barbarian 24, first appearance of Red Sonja. $0.10. Cents. That was the jam. X Factor 24, the first appearance, first full appearance of Archangel. And if you were a fan of the, you know, the 90s cartoon, this was a big story. This was a big deal. Okay. I wanted to make a video on this book. And I'm sure it's been talked about a million times before. But this predates Uncanny X-Men 266. Um, and Gambit is, the funny thing about this book is Gambit is in this book like crazy. It's not just a one panel thing, but he's in this book like crazy and he's just kind of standing around in the background. So this is pretty cool. It is the annual uh, number 14 cameo appearance of, of Gambit. I need to hurry this video up a little bit more. Four copies and I think I have a couple more maybe of the first Jubilee. Like I said, that 90s cartoon that we all kind of grew up watching um, Jubilee was a big deal in this comic book. I think the first episode of that, um, she was in the mall or something like that, and the Sentinels were there. Either way, that was a big deal. Uncanny X-Men 221, first Mr. Sinister. That book is a big deal. A newsstand and a direct copy of Uncanny 201. First baby cable. All right, I'll do I'll do these as a as a grouping here. Days of Future Past. Two copies of uh, 142, and then only one of 141. I love this book. It's an awesome book. I also love the Phoenix Saga. Uh, this is 137, the Death of Phoenix. Phoenix was such a hero. She was so awesome. Um, Wonder Woman 90, first Artemis. This is that Adam Hughes cover. 
of 184 Wonder Woman. Awesome Adam Hughes cover. You can see there's the classic Adam Hughes drawing portrayal of Wonder Woman and then you can see the Golden Age. And you can see they, they made it look um, all worn out and beat up. Just, that's awesome. Last book in this honorable mention, and thanks for watching, guys, is Special Marvel Edition, The Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, number 15. There's a little bit of chipping up there. Um, not one of my favorite characters in the world, um, but definitely I would want to own this book if I were me. And so I, I bought it, and I think I only paid, honestly, maybe 5 to 10 bucks for this. Um, so this is definitely one to, to, to look out for. So thanks for watching, guys. The next video that I make will be my top 50 books in my collection. So hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for accepting me into the community. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love, and I will talk to you all soon.